Okay, and welcome back to LinkedIn Logs, the number one job podcast for the website. Cpluscomedy.com. Like I just said, it's a website. Go there. Here we are. LinkedIn Logs. Let me actually go to LinkedIn.com. Uh, and uh, we're in the new year talking about uh, all the jobs that I get. Uh, yes, yes. We, uh, the show still exists. It's still going on. And here I am um, months later talking about the lack of jobs I have. <laughs> What's new? What's going on? Well, I, okay, first time, for, uh, for, it was the first time for everything. I got a little uh, part-time job. Um, and uh, after getting denied for a year and a half from literally every type of job, <laughs> from constructions, uh, constructions, construction type deals, and from uh, you know uh, serving and stuff like that, um, I, I, there's one place actually was uh, offered me something on the spot. It's relatively close to me, and given that I have no other options. <laughs> No options. It's crazy. I'm college educated. I've got, you know, a decade of experience working. And yet, here we are. I'm unable to get a a job in any sector besides the one I got. Uh, And it is, uh, it's a maintenance position. So I'm working maintenance. I'll be doing maintenance. Uh, I've done every type of job in the world. I've done... I've done, uh, I've worked in restaurants. I've done retail. I've done uh, physical labor. I've done types of sales. I haven't done caregiving, but I feel like you need licenses for that. So I've done every type of job you can get basically instantly. I'll tell you a little story. There was uh, last Tuesday when I was supposed to do a LinkedIn log. So I was going to come back on that first week hitting hard at, with uh, all three shows. And, cl- and then also I was going to do news time. I did shoot it. It is done. But then I didn't have time to do it the rest of the week. Uh, and I – so I so actually, no, there was, there was another job that called it – that did, they said uh, – they they are they were like let's come do an interview. Last Tuesday, let me paint a picture. It was raining. It was raining. Let's say mid, you know, mid mid type of raining. wasn't heavy, wasn't light. Then it stopped, and I I told the guy the week prior, and this job paid <laughs> like piss. <laughs> But again, it was the only thing <laughs> that was offered to me. The job I have now pays, uh, um, let's see, about five dollars more than piss. <laughs> so it's again nothing. Any hoosers? I so I, the week prior, I go to the I, the the guy calls me and he says, uh, "Well, uh, we know we 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 can't offer you much." I'm like. Yeah. And it uh, seems like you can work in the afternoons and, you know, here's here's where it is. An inconvenient location. <laughs> uh, and he's like, here's where it is. And, uh, you know, you want to come by? Uh, and th- this is like Wednesday or Thursday. He's like, you want to? And I'm, I'm totally free that day or the next day. You want to come by next Tuesday? And I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm going to wait it's five days. <laughs> To do an interview for a job <laughs> that I know I could do right now, this very second. And I go, all right, man, sure. Yeah, and I'm just like, man, I'm just like, man, I'm very professional. Yeah, yeah, why not? And then I all for the next four, five, six days, I know this is coming. So I go, okay, I get, I leave with the appropriate amount of time. That Tuesday, January 9th, eighth or eighth or ninth, eighth or ninth, eighth or ninth. Eighth? Yeah, eighth. Eighth is a eighth is a thing people say. I was gonna say eighth. <laughs> January eighth or ninth. Kamala Harris is coming to town. <laughs> now I could have I didn't have to hit the highway. Oh, I sure as heck did have to hit the highway. But I had to be at the place at twelve thirty and it was like twelve. It was it was like twelve. 
It was a little after 12. And it's a 10 minute, 15 minute drive at most. 15 at most. And I, I, I just, I just, you know, mindlessly put in, uh, the, I put in the address in Google Maps. I know where this place is. I can see it in my head. An inconvenient location. <laughs> Did not have to hit the highway. Uh, I, 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 but it's raining out, and I'm just, I'm, I'm I, and I'm just discouraged because every every professional job I applied to uh, that would pay me a living wage. Even or even close to it has said no to me over the past year and a half, two years. And I put it in mindlessly. I start driving. It's it's lightly mid to mid size raining outside. <laughs> and I was gonna make a, a mid size SUV joke, but I couldn't think of anything quick enough. Uh, like lightly mid size, you know, like like what would. Let's let's take a let's deviate from the story to think about a joke. How would no? Um, so I, I I I make this I make this turn. I make this left turn to to get on uh, the street that will take me to the highway. It's busy. It's lunchtime, which is another thing. If I want to if I'm gonna do an interview, I'm not doing it at noon. I'm very efficient. I want to do things in the morning when I'm a, when I'm alert. I I guess I'm a morning person, but I can I can rally at night, baby. You should see me at weddings. Ooh. People want to hang out at night. Yeah, man. Fridays are at night. Hopefully, she is. You you, if it's if it's Monday through Thursday, we're gonna have an issue. <laughs> I gotta wake up for the gym. If, uh, 335, 345, excuse me, 355, excuse me. I'm pushing it back to 345. I'm thinking about that. Very true. I'm very, this, this is the very boring life of, of, uh, Chad Cooper White. I'm, I'm put, I'm thinking about pushing my wake up time or pulling my wake up time back to 345, 10 minutes so that I could have ample time to, when I need to use the treadmill, preferably on those days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when I use the treadmill. Uh, I'll tell you this much. I, it is, we're, we're in the middle of a cold snap, uh, because, um, the earth is effed when it comes to climate and, um, uh, it's, it's snowing in Nashville. My friends are in Nashville and Tennessee are getting snow. Uh, people I went to college with, it was their early friends. Once you have children, once you get married at 20 and have children, we're done. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's just cold down here and it was like, uh, this morning it was like it was less than eleven degrees, and uh, the treadmill. I have a treadmill. If you if you're watching the video, there's a there's a bike back there, a Schwinn IC4, which is the best alternative for Peloton. No big deal. Two hundred dollars. No big deal. It's still selling for a thousand. No big deal. <laughs> Got mine. Of, yeah. The trick is another deviance. Go find rich people on next door. Find rich people on Facebook. They're willing to sell these things, and you all you have to do is ask. And you know what? If if one person says no, then the next person selling because these are these people are selling these like crazy. They're like, my gym's open back up. You know, this is after uh, the pandemic. Oh, my gym, my gym opened back up. I'm gonna, I don't need this bike anymore. I don't want to go to the gym and sit on a bike with someone next to me. I want to do this at home. Anyway, I bought a treadmill too. Treadmill's two hundred dollars. That one's from twenty twenty. No big deal. So I got two giant pieces of equipment for doing it. Anyway, I have a treadmill and I have a, I have a storage unit that is attached to my apartment. Uh, and, uh, and, and inside the storage unit is the treadmill. So I run inside the storage unit. There's, uh, there's, good, there's, good, there's good to that and there's bad to that. The good to it is that, let's start with the bad. The bad to it, there's no plug. So I, had, I bought an extension cord and I run it. <laughs> there's... <laughs> I bought a 50 foot extension cord. There's 40 feet, 40, not even like, it's like 45. There's 45 feet between that door at the end of the hallway and my apartment. So I just run it and it's, it's four o'clock in the morning. Who cares? And I, and I run it from, uh, from my apartment from there's a plug next to the bike, uh, all the way to the thing. And, uh, it was, it was like 11 degrees this morning. I say it was eight. I don't think it was eight in my, in my, in my head. I say it's eight. In reality, it's probably like eleven, and uh, uh, and what else is what else is bad about it? Um, d- during the hot months, in which I where I did purchase, well, I mean, it's not supposed to be hot during 
November, but here we are. Uh, I I bought that and it's and there's no there's no air. It's just that door. <laughs> there's no vent. It's just the door. So it gets very stuffy in there. It gets very hot in there really quick when you're running and when you're walking. Uh, and there's no air to move it. Anyway, I was in there this morning, and the good the good of it is you know it's big enough to fit that treadmill, and some other things. My meth lab. <laughs> So I I run in there. I was I was walking in there, and for the first time, usually, even when it's like thirty degrees out, I can walk in there and I get a little warm because the door is closed, and I pull off my sweatshirt, and I uh, throw it across my bikes, and 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 it's warm enough. There's enough heat from my body that I can just I can even like on last Friday I took my shirt off and I ran with my shirt off on my treadmill, because uh, it was it probably was like. 60 degrees in there versus it being 30 degrees outside um but today i had to run the sweatshirt on it was very cold my fingies were getting a little chilled any hoosers <laughs> i don't know where i was going with this uh so that tuesday let's go back let's go back to that story um i i leave i hit the high i'm about i even hit the highway when all of a sudden i see police lights lighting up the entrance blocking it off i get there as they are blocking it off and i go and in my head i I knew she was coming i knew for a fact she was coming because i saw it the sunday before but i didn't register that they were going to be on the same days uh and i just went oh well crap and then and then uh and also there's a (laughs) there's a speaking of suvs midsize this was a full size there was a uh a lady in an suv that was way too big for her uh, ent- trying to enter the highway as slowly as possible. Guys, when we are driving, we're trying to enter highways, you've got to go the same speed. Even prior, you, you can't just, you can't be afraid to merge onto things. If you can't drive the car, it's too big. Any hoosers. So there's another, there's another entrance too. So you, so you can either uh, just do that direct right turn or going towards uh, Georgia State in the downtown area, you can go straight. There's four lanes. You can go straight, and there's this fourth lane that also allows you to turn off. So I was going to that lane, and then just as that was happening too, more cop cars block it off. We were there, and I, I was sitting behind. So I, there was maybe, I don't know, let's say 10 cars in these four lanes, including the ones trying to get on the highway right there. So, so that's 10 going forward in those four lanes and then those other two lanes, uh, the other single lane, excuse me, that was splitting off before that fourth lane. Let's say there was 10 cars. Within 10 minutes, it just started, within within minutes, not even 10, it just started backing up to maybe 50 or so cars. All of a sudden, every entrance to the highway is blocked. No one can get on. All the police are blocking it off just for Kamala Harris. Usually, I've lived out here for eight years or so. Usually, I don't go anywhere on days when I know that, you know, uh, if a if a presidential if uh, forty five is coming to town, or if Biden or if Kamala, if any if anybody's big and important like that's coming to town, or well, one of those names is big and important, uh, or two of those names are big and important, one of them was not, <laughs> uh, then I don't go. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I try not to go anywhere. Uh, and then today, I just, that day, I just happened to be forget about it. And we sat there for not fifteen minutes, not thirty minutes, but forty-five minutes. And you would think people would understand. Like at that point, I'll, I'll get to what I felt. But people should know not to honk when <laughs> we're all stuck in the same traffic. There's, there was a car, a lane over, and like two cars back, just laying on their horn every couple of minutes or so, and it just, it was just ridiculous at some point. It just, it was ridiculous at the first point. Like, dude, there's, there's five cop cars in front of us. You need to chill out. And the cops are outside. They're not. It's not like they're sitting inside the cars. They're all outside wearing the safety vests, just standing there. And like, and like telling people to stop and like, you know, also don't get out of your car and approach a cop. <laughs> like, that's not going to be good for you. Like, I got to go. No, you can't do that. Like, you can't do it. Just sit. What I did was, I have Sirius XM. I just turned it. I, I, I was already listening to it. But 
put the car in park, started flipping through channels I would never even listen to in the, uh, in the car that aren't on my 40 presets that I have set up. Yeah, I set up. Yeah, every single one of my presets is already set up. It goes the two NPR stations uh, for, for Atlanta. And then it uh, goes the talk radio, goes Howard. Then I got like CNN, MSNBC, BBC. Then it goes uh, sports, ESPN, NFL, NBA. Um, and then it goes music, starting with Road Trip Radio, ending with Frank Sinatra. And there's other there's stuff in between. <laughs> and we sat there for um, for 45 minutes or so. Uh, and, and then it, it like, it was raining on and off. And then I, I just, I just took that to be, you know, uh, I didn't like, I thought about calling the, the dog, the, I'll just say it. It was a dog boarding place. He's going to pay me $12 an hour. And I thought about, which means I'm making $17 an hour at this new one. <laughs> I thought I was going to be, I thought like, I thought I was going to call them and, uh, and, and say, Hey, I'm going to be late. I didn't, I didn't care. And I didn't want to, um, I took that though as the universe going, <laughs> Chad. Don't do this, man. Don't subject yourself to this. And I was right, because that person didn't even call me back. <laughs> I'm sure they get that all the time. Oh, also, you know, this is very funny. This is another part of the story that took me 16 minutes to tell uh, is that the day prior to him call, actually two days prior to him calling me, that guy. He uh, sent out sent an email to me that was copied and paste, and it said, "Hey, Tamisha, we'd love for you to come in, uh, you know, or have a, have a phone interview this Wednesday at uh, X amount of time." And I was like, "Tamisha," and I went, "Oh, obviously he's like he's copied. Like I knew what was happening. Like, oh, he copied and pasted and sent it to me." Uh, I I confirmed us. I said, "Hey, uh, you might send this to the wrong person, but I will I will you know do a, a phone interview or whatever." Um, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Cause I think that's very funny to me. Uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, who is, it says glass. Oh yeah. I know what that is. Also, there was a point last week where I just kind of, um, emailed everybody. <laughs> I just, I went over, I looked <laughs> on Google maps. I went to local businesses on Google maps and I just emailed and called. I just cold called everybody like it was 1982. Oh, hello to Mia, uh, from the owner of the, uh, the, I won't say the name of the place, but the dog boarding place. <laughs> if you Google dog boarding place, if you Google maps or Apple maps, whatever maps service you like, provide you like dog boarding place, Midtown Atlanta. I'm sure you could find it <laughs> in convenient location. <laughs> um, and hey, to me, uh, uh, we, I man, I manage, you know, this, this place on this street. Are you available, uh, uh, this afternoon between three and four or be- uh, tomorrow between 12 and one for a 10 minute phone interview? And then, uh, <laughs> and, then and then I respond and it's like, Oh, sorry about that. Uh, Chad, that, that email was intended for you. We had a big response to our indeed post and have been emailing multiple applicants. I was like, dude, I get it. No worries, my guy. <laughs> so no worries. I'm free today. Give me a call. And then not that person, but another person called me, <laughs> which is, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, pretty dumb. Anyway, so I just, I didn't go to that and I didn't want to, and I don't feel bad about, uh, not calling it or anything. And then there was a, so I'm, I'm looking at a bunch of other jobs. I just said job inquiry dash Chad White. Hello, blank. My name is Chad White, blah, 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 all this different stuff. Oh, nobody from this company responded to me. Huh. Right, interesting. And then uh, one, one company did, one, one company, one local business did get back to me and I went to go talk to the guy and he was like, ah, I'm sorry, I have nothing to offer you. I didn't just tell me that <laughs> and then this other one so I went to this interview at this other place and uh, the guy's like 
hey, we we have we have another interview on this Saturday, but we'd love to bring you on. And then I I I kind of gave him like a lukewarm, like ah, oh, you know, just all right, yeah, yeah, I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Uh, he we he, so he gives me a tour of the facilities that I would be maintain, maintaining, and he and we're meeting like people he works with, and he's he's. <laughs> literally going around to them going this guy's great i mean he's he's so excited to be here like this guy's gonna oh my god we're so excited to have you here chad and i was just like i again i'm being i'm being very lukewarm i'm going yeah this is a, this is a nice place and uh it's a <laughs> he's just telling people hey look at him he's just such a great guy <laughs> i wish i had people like that in my life <laughs> like it's so it's so funny um yeah, it's it's a very it's a very uh, it was just a very interesting way to uh, to get to to be offered the job, um, and then that day, they were like uh, again he's like he's like hey, we'll just give you the job we'll just give it to you, <laughs> and then um, I got a t- I got an email from HR the next day and they were like hey here's your offer letter and I went all right, <laughs> again it's not paying much, um, but you know whatever. Uh, no, okay, and then uh, one final story. There was in the in the middle of my off days of not recording this, and uh, um, when when was this? Let me go back to December fifteenth. This is how old it was. This is this is how old it was. I had uh, one interview with CNN, and um, uh, this is bef- this prior to me leaving. I was. I was gung ho emailing them from my from my CNN account, uh, and and then this person we set up a time and we we had a chat on December fourteenth, thirteenth or fourteenth, and we had a a good thirty minute conversation. Me, this person, and uh, I guess their their partner in crime uh, who also works with them, and and we had a good chat and we're having a nice discussion. And they were like, "All right, well, the next steps." And we like it was truly like truly. Just like this, uh, this golfing guy, uh, I feel like they were just inches away from offering me a job. Um, uh, again at CNN, and uh, long story short, did not get the job. I did not get the job at all. <laughs> and but they were they were giving me the next steps and all this stuff, and they were so excited. And then I, you know, I sent my follow up email. Hey, I'm excited. Blah blah blah. Uh, I got the new. Uh, you know, I'll just say it. No, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say the position. Um, I uh, I got the denial email. I think like last week at some point. Um, uh, and part of me thinks that they talked with my uh, previous um, boss at CNN. Um, also, final thing, I posted the. This is a long episode, baby. Usually these are twenty minutes. It's gonna be thirty. <laughs> I I posted a uh, a LinkedIn post and this is this is why I think excuse my language LinkedIn is the shittiest the worst I mean just such such a bad such a bad social media network I put put that in quotes like I would rather be on TikTok uh and I with my entire heart hate TikTok um the LinkedIn LinkedIn is so fake it's it is it is the it is the um, a Beverly Hills. It's the Buckhead Atlanta. It is the Brooklyn of social networks. And I posted a very, um, uh, people want to talk about, honestly, I posted a very, <laughs> there, there, I'm, I'm, I make that, I, I say that because, you know, people, we use terms, humans, the word honestly and they we drop articles we drop definitive articles like instead of saying uh i went to the store people people say went to the store yesterday yeah anyway uh or you know the movie was great go movie great <laughs> movie was great <laughs> anyway but people want to be talk about being authentic and being honest and, and true to themselves and whatnot and I let me I'll, I'll preface it with this: I never get enough likes on my Inst- my my Instagram my uh my LinkedIn posts, which is fine. But people post the wor- the sh- again the shittiest things on on LinkedIn, and they get seven thousand likes. <laughs> uh, 
I couldn't. I have applied to six hundred. I've applied to uh, hundreds of jobs in the past week, and I've been out of a job for for two weeks, and I'm discouraged. But I'm not gonna get up. Give up, honey. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. Um, I posted a, a Happy New Year post. Good Wednesday, LinkedIn. Happy New Year. And I paint, and my my exact words were, I want to paint a portrait of my working life in 2023. I gave everything from last January up until the whenever the hell I posted this a week ago, two weeks ago, excuse me, two weeks ago. Like how I how I, how I couldn't claim unemployment benefits, um, how I've applied to all the jobs I can, what it was like working at CNN, all the all the bad things that I experienced and how poorly I was treated, how uh, things like how I was literally clapped at like a dog uh, by um, one of the executive producers, uh, how people refused to learn my name, people who were younger than me <laughs> refused to learn my name, um, how I, how it was, it's, uh, uh, I was treated and talked down to by almost everybody including my supervisor um how i was you know essentially just told that like i was i need to be thankful for the opportunity of having <laughs> my job um you know things along that line and how much and then and then and, and here's the kicker i was i was talking about uh exactly how much i made um which which is um i'm gonna say shit one more time but like i could <laughs> it, it it's i made such such low money <laughs> like the like ad cartoon network i made i made seven times as much <laughs> i'll say that i made <laughs> literally seven like over seven times as much 7.5 <laughs> so i made i made i made like not enough money to live on and then I, and then I would, you know, and, and people, you know, we come to LinkedIn and we come to LinkedIn and talk about mental health and, you know, all this bullshit. I said shit again. Yeah. This is supposed to be a clean show. All my shows are clean. I'm supposed to, I, I try, I try my best to make them clean. Not for ads. I don't, I don't do ads. Ads are bad. Uh, just because I want to show that I'm a professional person and I can talk for 30 minutes at a time. So people would hire me, I guess. And it was a, it's a long post and it uses up the, all of LinkedIn, all of the, the, uh, the words that LinkedIn allows on, um, the thing, the, the word limit, all that stuff. Uh, first of all, 17 likes horrible compared to the, somebody writes, I, uh, I haven't, uh, I'm 21 years old and I can't get a job and I've been looking for exactly three days. 70,000 likes. 70,000 comments. I've got a job at my law firm. You're going to be a partner. You make 80 grand. I was sitting there going, I guess I got to go to the pawn shop and sell this laptop. Anyway, I ended uh, I ended it with this. Um, uh, blank is not enough to live on. I had to uh, I had to do things no one should have had to get by. I had to survive. I'm not like the other I'm not like these other people here. I can't afford to sit around worrying about my mental health. Exclamation point. From this point forward, I'm not knocking on the door and asking to be seen. I'm kicking it in and taking what's mine. Either you're uh, behind me or you're getting out of my way. I'm here. Just keep that in mind. Until next time. And then I tagged every company I've ever applied to. Netflix, Warner Bros, Discovery, Paramount, Walt Disney Company, NBC Universal, hashtag LinkedIn, hashtag LinkedIn Creator, hashtag Hire Me. There were like truly like I did I added levity. At points, there was a point where I talked about how I've interviewed celebrities and like they know who I am and they know me and uh, and how I don't have the SEC, ACC, Pac-12, et cetera, schooling of my coworkers. <laughs> it's very funny that I go to these, you know, you go to these jobs and uh, people have gone to UGA and they have. And they have all of the things in, in front of them. Like everything's available to them. I do. I truly do think that uh, that a college name, a big college name, is like helpful, um, which sucks. But whatever. Anyway, 
So I talked about exactly how much money I made and all that stuff. Uh, 17 people liked it, <laughs> which um, sticks. And I still and I still had to like repost it to even get up to past uh, uh, 10, <laughs> which is still insane to me. Um, and then all that to say is I got like a message, two messages, one for my mom. She was like, that's too negative. I'm like, no, this is how it's going to happen. I'm done playing by these stupid fake rules Two, uh, the, and then the, the other message was from an, from another person who was like, I think it's, too, uh, uh, I'll, I'll read what this person said. <laughs> uh, da, 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 let's see. Uh, Hey, is everything okay? I saw your post about your job experience and journey. Um, uh, and then she was like, uh, corporate, corporate America has its obstacles. Um, not in, I'm not in corporate America. Uh, but do you think that posting your stories would hurt your chance of getting a job? And then I, and, and then I just wrote, it's like, Hey, thanks for reaching out. It's been a process. Uh, I, I was like, I understand where you're coming from, but it's not negative. Like this is we're like, we're here. Like everybody wants to be honest and all that bullshit. Like why, why is it, why is it negative for me? And I'm sure, and I and and, and uh, LinkedIn will tell you how many impressions your post got. And I and my and it says I have like you know like fifteen thousand impressions. So what stopped these other jackasses from not from from not go, from not going? I support this person uh, because for one, over the past two weeks, I've gotten ever since I posted that, I've gotten like more clicks on my profile and I have that setting on LinkedIn that's a the that'll send in your, your notifications uh you know uh, uh uh I'm not gonna say a name but this person followed you and this person looked on your profile um and I've gotten you know dozens dozens of clicks on my profile from people that I used to work with at CNN <laughs> and from people that currently work there at CNN I've got a lot of follows from them and all that stuff, um, and as well as my people not inside the industry and everything like that. Which means either they, A, feel bad for me, B, support me, or C, are just curious as to who I am and what I have done. Uh, if you click on my profile, you got to at least follow through and say, <laughs> send a message, offer a job, whatever. Because if I had as many job offers or as many as many likes on that friggin' post, then I would, ha- you know, then it would be that much better. I mean, it's just it's it's insane. Uh, I understand where the negative, where, like where it feels like the negative aspect, but here's again, we have to people come to this website and they post the worst posts I've seen in my life. Like you, you, how how is it fair that? I haven't had full time employment in year years. I haven't had um uh, uh, uh you know um what's it called health benefits. I can't even think of the words. I've had health benefits in like five like four years, four or five years, and that you get to come here where you're and you're and you have your benefits. You have your health. You have uh, a home to live in that you don't have to worry about every every other month. And, and then come to somebody and go, you're too negative. Or, or, or how you don't have, you are, how you can't like this, but you have to secretly go behind. I mean, if, if I, here's the thing. If I was, a, if I was as, uh, I support anybody who has any like bad experience at a company, because no matter how exciting or how good a company is, there's always going to be a person with bad experience. And whether you believe that person or not, they, that's what they had. And if they can back it up with receipts, like I can, like I had CNN, not a Cartoon Network, like at CNN, uh, and like at uh, 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 11 Live, <laughs> like at the Weather Channel, then, you know, it should, that, like you should be able to go, oh, okay, well, I mean, it, oh, hold on, I was going to, I was going to compare it to something else and that was going to be a, a very wrong comparison, but I see it in my eyes as true. Um, so we will bow, we'll we'll pivot away from that, but that doesn't just because just because I I don't write it down or uh, 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 I don't report it doesn't mean it didn't happen, which it really sucks. And just because you know you're having a nice time doesn't mean I'm not, um, or other people aren't. Rather, excuse me. 
but it's not just about me. And I think, you know, and I'm not saying I should be rewarded for, for telling my experience, but you should be able to recognize and go like, damn, that guy did not have a good time. And especially if you know me, you should go, he, tr- he tried. He really tried. He was, <laughs> you know, he was, uh, he was, he was proud. Even if it was a job that was literally and truly beneath him, he was proud I'm talking about, it. um, yeah. It's uh yeah it uh, I just did not have a nice time at CNN and I I did everything in my power and nature to stay on and to and to really truly um uh advance and uh, uh like like if you ask me for suggestions if you're like if you are my supervisor and um you give me you you go Hey, do you have any ideas on how we could improve and stuff? And I give you ideas and you shoot down every single one. Then what the fuck are you asking for? <laughs> like truly. Oh my god. All right, this is have to this has to be like the the most explicit episode I've ever said. I've ever had. No more F words. We're like the we're like a, we're like a PG-13 movie. You only get one. I can say shit as much as I want. <laughs> And the and and like and for the people that I that I did work with, if you're looking at my my LinkedIn, like multiple times for some of them, <laughs> I see it when you click on it. Why? There one. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything. But uh, like that. That is. While again, may not be your experience, but we've talked about this. <laughs> we talked about this. Like, hey, did. Did your hours get like stricken down? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that what that's it. That's it. So uh, I'm I'm back I'm back into the world of working part time, uh, uh, minimum wage jobs. Five dollars more than minimum wage. <laughs> oh boy! Hey, listen. If you like what you heard here, head to the website C Plus Comedy. Where uh, I talk, I look, look. I I'm a, I'm I hate saying multi hyphenated. I don't I don't I think I can do a lot of things. I'm a producer. I'm a writer. I, I interview people. I can apparently only work blue collar jobs. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Just saying. When's my time gonna be? Uh, well, we'll head to cpluscomedy.com where I, I, I talk to, uh, you can see interviews with uh, your favorite television people. Right now, the latest one up is, hold on, I scheduled another one and I don't know it's on right now. Uh, I have to go to the website. See, this is how busy I am <laughs> for a thing that makes me no money. I just recently talked to the uh, cast and writers and producers of the show, the Peacock show, Ted, the prequel series to the uh, R-rated films starring uh, Mark Wahlberg and Seth MacFarlane. I uh, did not talk to Seth MacFarlane. I was not allowed to. <laughs> they did not offer him to me. Did I ask? Day of? They said nothing. <laughs> Sitting in the Zoom window <laughs> in the waiting room. Hey, uh, you think Seth's available? <laughs> not a word. The PR people know me by name and they deliberately ignored that message. Cut to this morning. I'm sitting there wa- walking on the treadmill, scrolling through the news. It's four o'clock in the morning. I see an article from Collider that was put out 11 days prior to today, Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Interview with Seth McFarland. Guess who was in that junket waiting room with me? The people from Collider. <laughs> I go, oh, this might be, this must be the only one. Click on the the more news part of it. <laughs> See other websites who were in that junket with me. <laughs> oh, this these people got something farland. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm I'm very lucky to have what I have. I just talked to the people at Ted. <laughs> 
If you want to see that, that is up on uh, cpluscomedy.com as well as youtube.com slash cpluscomedy where you can see video versions of this podcast as well as the other podcasts I do. Late Night Lately, the Late Late Night Show Show, uh, which is coming back this week as well, and uh, The Constitutionals, which is coming back as well with a brand new theme song. That's right. I am tired of getting content strikes on uh, youtube.com slash C comedy. I don't want to put ads on, on any of these videos uh, and on the website, um, but I'm just sick of the content strikes. Uh, and uh, speaking of content strikes, news time is back with a brand new theme song of its own. You'll, I'll, you'll get two episodes. Um, the first episode is written and it's shot. It needs to be edited. Uh, and it is about um, uh, executive pay. People like Ted Sarandos, my former boss, David Zaslov, Bob Backish, the rest, Bob Iger. And then this next episode, the episode after that, that will also drop the same day probably. It's about Pat McAfee and um, uh, Aaron Rodgers and ESPN. As soon as I write that and shoot it, <laughs> that's what will happen. Maybe I'll be wearing the sweater. Probably not. <laughs> uh, interviews, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a long episode. I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Hey, and if you got a job, uh, hire me, man, because I'm not doing anything except for sitting on the computer looking for stupid stories to do. All right. Well, I'm done, and we're going to be done here. So, bye. Bye.